Uh who? Mm. Ah. Mm. Whoa. Oh. Ah. Oh. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh. Uh. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. 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 Oh, Yeah. 
Come on, come on, come on.
Oh! 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 Ah! <laughs> 
My name's Pinky. A couple of days ago, I had everything girls my age could dream of. I worked as a model, and my boyfriend Love Boy was the cutest guy in the school. And just look at his brand new car. It's luxurious. <laughs> Everyone thought I had the perfect life, but I didn't. 
I felt out of place among the popular guys. Parties were often boring. And then I realized that all the Tauruses are even worse than the Scorpius. And all the Stevens are handsome. <laughs> but that wasn't the worst thing. Sometimes popular guys were really rude to other students. Once, they hung Dorothy by his underpants on a locker. I wasn't satisfied with my life, and one night, it changed forever. We got together at the house of the richest girl in our school, Lexi. It was just a regular party, except for the spoiled pepperoni pizza. Yeah. But then I saw Nerd in the corner of the room. She was the smartest girl in our school. It was strange to meet her there. Nerd and Lexi didn't get on. I noticed Nerd felt very uncomfortable, so I decided to walk over and talk to her. When I took a step towards Nerd, Lexi and Candy appeared behind her with a huge bucket of slime. They were holding it right over Nerd's head. I pushed her out from under the bucket and threw all this green goo go right on my head. There was silence in the room. But in a second, all my friends burst out laughing. My boyfriend was laughing louder than anyone. <laughs> God, I didn't know you wanted to be a loser so much. <laughs> Only Nerd didn't laugh. She handed me her hanky with sympathy. I grabbed the hanky and ran out of the room. I tried my best not to burst into tears in front of everyone. After that, I left the party, of course. On the way home, we had a big fight with Love Boy. I asked him why he hadn't stood up for me. Love Boy said, Babe, you should take it easier. To be honest, it was your fault. We were in a great prank. You know, this prank was cruel. You acted like a jerk. Love Boy abruptly stopped the car and said, Since I'm such a jerk, you might better get home on your own. I jumped out of his stupid car and slammed the door. Love Boy's car went out of sight. <laughs> And only then I realized that was in the central park of our city. The most dangerous place you can imagine. Whoops. I was walking out of the park, lighting up the road with my phone. It was the stupidest idea. Two huge trolls came out from behind the bushes at me. Nice phone, honey. What else interesting is in your purse? I took a step back, tripped, and fell down. Stupid heels. Two trolls' shadows hung over me. Suddenly, someone jumped out from the trees and knocked one of the trolls down. This mysterious stranger was wearing a mask, just like a superhero from a movie. The second troll grabbed my phone and ran away. But the stranger didn't lose his head and threw my purse at him. Wow, that was spectacular! I tried to see his face, but he modestly turned away. Unbelievable! This guy just saved my life, but he was still shy. Then he said, uh, I better walk you home. It's a dangerous place. Of course I agree. To be honest, I wasn't afraid at all anymore. I just wanted to spend time with the stranger. On the way home, the stranger asked me what I was doing in the park alone at night. I replied, my boyfriend and I had a fight, so I decided to walk. The stranger frowned for a moment, and then I said, with my ex-boyfriend, I guess. I could have sworn the stranger smiled, and my cheeks flushed. How did you know I needed help? Have you been stalking me? This is the most dangerous place in the city, and often patrol it at night, from my viewpoint. And where is this point? The stranger smiled slyly, but instead of answering, he definitely put me on his shoulder and raced through the park. I squeezed my eyes shut in fear. The stranger was rushing so fast that I even felt a little sick. When I opened my eyes, we were in the highest booth of a ferris wheel. The gloomy city park looked like the most beautiful place in the world from there. Then I looked down. The fear of heights made my head spin and I fell right into the stranger's arms. He smelled of fresh grass and rain. He almost kissed, but I threw up right on his shoes. Oh, what a shame! The stranger was taken back for a second, looked at his shoes, and laughed. He said, I love pepperoni pizza too. I got embarrassed, but I felt the stranger's soft eyes and started laughing too. We were near my house when I noticed a beautiful flower growing on the top of the tree. The stranger smiled, and in a couple of seconds, he was on the tree. Wow, this guy was very dexterous. As soon as I thought that, the stranger flew down. He caught his clothes on a branch and hung upside down just like Spider-Man. I took the flower and smelled the rain and freshly cut grass again. We were almost kissing when the first ray of the rising sun got into my eyes. The stranger twitched, fell down, shouted that he had to run and disappeared from sight. I watched him go and didn't understand anything. I hope it didn't smell like vomit. The next day, I intended to find out who was hiding under the mask. I was sure it was someone from my school. When I turned away from the locker, Love Boy was in front of me with a huge bouquet. Baby, I'm sorry. I was wrong yesterday. I shouldn't have left you there alone. Let's forget about that. I was furious. You put me in danger yesterday. I don't want to be your girlfriend anymore. Love Boy was in shock and didn't say anything. I even felt a little sorry for this guy. I was watching guys in gym class, but none of them was anywhere near as agile as the stranger. I even tried to find him by sand. Uh, uh, it's definitely not rain and freshly cut grass, but I was quickly kicked out of the men's locker room. Nerd noticed my strange behavior. I don't know why, but I told her everything about last evening. To my surprise, Nerd didn't laugh and even agreed to help find the stranger. When Lexi saw me and Nerd together, she laughed at me like I was the biggest loser in school. I pretended I didn't care. After school, we went to the park. Nerd noticed that the stranger was shedding and offered to follow the trail of wool. Wow, she's really the smartest girl in our school. We followed this trail and came to a house in the evening. I knocked on the door, but it wasn't the handsome stranger who opened the door. It was Dorky. There must be some mistake. The sound went down in a second, and Dorky turned into a stranger from the park. Wait, did I fall in love with Dorky? The stranger stretched out his hand to me and wanted to say something, but I chickened out and ran away. The next day, I tried to avoid Dorky. To be honest, I felt pretty uneasy at the thought that we almost kissed. I really liked this guy, but I was still scared of what the others would say. I couldn't decide what to do. At the big break, I turned on my favorite song for the whole dining room and climbed on the table. Everyone was looking at me. I took a deep breath and shouted, Dorky, I like you! Everyone stared at me, but Dorky looked the most shocked. He just mumbled, Uh, thank you. Huh? Love Boy angrily turned the table over. I can't believe you're laughing for this! Everyone was laughing. Lexi was the loudest. What's it like to be dumped by the ugliest guy in school? <laughs> it hurt me, but that time, I didn't run away. 
came down from the table and sat down next to Nerd. All the dorky dumped me. I had a real friend. We had fun. And most importantly, we supported each other and weren't shy about being real. The doorbell suddenly rang, but I wasn't expecting any guests. I opened the door, and the stranger came in. Or how I was supposed to call him now. Why have you come? Just listen to me, okay? It wasn't me in the cafeteria. It was Dorky. We shared the same body with him. When the sun's up, I turn into Dorky. I'm kind of a werewolf, but we're different people. He's not in love with you, but I am. I didn't listen to the end and threw myself into werewolf's arms. Guys, get a room. <laughs> we burst out laughing. And what are we going to do about it? Hmm, I have an idea. Being friends with the smartest girl in school turned out to be not only fun, but also useful. After some failed attempts, we managed to separate Dorky and werewolf. I was no longer the most popular girl in school, but I had a real friend and the best boyfriend in the world. Huh? <laughs> 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 
Oh no! Oh no! Mm-hmm. 